Welcome back to Lesson on Coding. My name is Ryan Lesson. So in today's video, we will be talking about the input and output decorators, how they work, and how they help us share data between the parent component and a child component. Um, it's very easy to use, very simple. So enough chit chat, let's get right down to it. So as you can see, I have my uh, parent component on the left. On the right, I gave you a visual representation of a parent component and a child component. All right, and as you can see in the HTML, they're within the same page. As you can see, the child component is in the same HTML that the parent component um, is using as the template. So first things first, let's declare a value for our parent. So we're gonna just simply declare a variable. We're gonna call it hello. Okay, and then we're gonna come into our app component HTML. And we're gonna put that on the page, and we're gonna put in a strong tag. Oh wow, my key bindings are not picking this up. Classic. All right, and we'll put in our hello right here. And we'll click and boom, there we go. Okay, so we have the variable defined within our parent component. But the problem is the child does not have access to that variable hello because the child has its own scope. Okay, so to make that variable available within the scope of the child, we will be using again, which I alluded to earlier, those input and output decorators, as you may have guessed. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to come into my uh, right here in the child component. And I'm going to use the attribute binding to pass down our variable. So what I'm passing in here will be the name of the variable with, that's available within the scope of our child component. And we're going to pass down our hello variable. So now that I have that in our child component, I need to import the input uh, decorator. So once I imported it, I'm going to come down here. And now we'll be setting it up real quick. So remember, we call it state um, right here in HTML, and that's the name that will be available. Okay, got that in there. And we'll come in here, and then we're just going to see if we pass it down, see if it's all working. Oops, state. And we're going to put in strong tags. Okay, and boom, as you could see, Oh, string tag. Boom, as you can see, now we have the hello variable available, not only in our parent, but our parent is passing the data down to our child. So next up, I'll be getting into the output decorator of how we will be passing um, data from our child component to our parent. But real quickly, I'd like to mention, um, I highly recommend following the unidirectional flow of data when working with this type of you know, parent to child communication or in any application. Um, real quickly, basically it says that state flows down in our instance, it's the hello variable, which is a state that flows down to the child. And then state does not flow up from the child, what flows up is events. So real quick again, state flows down, events flow up. So we will be using, yes, you may have guessed it, an event to pass up the data from the child. So we're gonna come into our child component and we're gonna just you know, we're going to define a variable and we're going to call it and we're going to say goodbye equal to goodbye. Okay. So we got that there. Then let's put it on our page so we could see it. Man, my key bindings are sucking today. Okay, and there we go. So now if we look at our page. All right, got the value in there. So now we have the, the goodbye variable um, declared on our child. So now let's emit that up to our parents. So to do that, I will be creating a button. So this button is uh, going to emit up our event on click. Okay, and we're gonna call this send to parents. Okay, so when we click on it now, nothing happens. Let's set up the click event on it to pass it up. So we're gonna set the click event. We're gonna call send to, oh, sorry. 
or bind to the click uh, property. And we're going to do send to parent. All right. So in our child component, let's set up our send to parent method. Okay, so we have the method, but we don't have an event to emit up, or do we have our output decorator defined? So let's get into that real quick. So I'm gonna import two things, the output decorator. I'm also gonna import the event emitter. All right, so then I'm gonna come down here, output, and we'll call this, um, we'll call this event. Well, yeah, we'll call it event, why not? So we'll call it event, it's gonna be of type event emitter. It's gonna be a string. It's gonna equal a new event. All right, there we go. So we have our new event emitter. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to, whenever that send to parent gets called, we're going to do this dot event, and we're gonna use the value on event called emit, which again, will just send our data up through the event. And we're gonna pass in, that's right, our goodbye variable. All right, so we got that there. So the output decorator makes it easy for us, again, to come into our HTML, and now not to bind to um, the property or the attribute, we will be binding to the event. So we will be binding to all right, what event, so excuse me. So we're gonna binding to that event that gets emitted, that's the name of it. And we are going to be calling, whenever that method gets called, we're gonna be sending it to um, set data from child. Okay. And we're gonna real quickly, don't forget to put the event right there in the params. Come here, set data from child, okay, and we're gonna do this right here, public goodbye equals string, this dot goodbye equals data, and real quickly, the data right there, awesome. Uh, and we're gonna put public right here, so TSLint will stop complaining. Okay, got that in, perfect. So let's go into one more thing. Let's come into here and let's just, okay. So as you can see, our app starts out and our value from the child is nothing. Because again, in our app component.ts, it's not set as anything. But as you can see within our child, uh, within our child, the child value is goodbye. So now let's send that up. When we click the button, boom, we have sent up the data and now we have goodbye right there in our parent component to access. So there you have it guys. Um, I hope you now understand the input to output decorators in the Angular 4 framework. Very powerful and very easy to use. All right, that's it. Um, take care and have a good one. Woo!